Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. You guys, today's video is truly game changing because I'm going to show you how you can cut your time you spend every week doing laundry in half or more, up to 80% to be exact. What? What are you talking about? That's crazy talk. Believe it. Believe it, guys. Just hang in here with me for this whole video and I'm gonna show you some shortcuts all throughout your laundry routine to save you so much time. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. I do videos on all different types of home, beauty, lifestyle topics. First, because you guys know I'm scientific here on my channel. We're gonna call out a little visual aid that I put together. We've got visual aids now. We're increasing the budget here. Let's be honest, I'm too cheap for that. This pie chart represents where the time is actually spent doing laundry. So this little sliver, 5%, that's the time it actually takes just to load and unload your laundry. That part of the process is very minimal in terms of time, you know? Dump your clothes in the washer, turn it on. The time where your washer and dryer are actually going, of course, is very time consuming, but that's time where you could be doing other things, so we don't count that. So this 10% time here in our pie chart represents the time it takes to sort your laundry. So if you're doing a mixed load of your kids, your husband, everyone's going in together, you have to spend that time first sorting before you fold. So that's 10%. 75% of your time any given week doing laundry, you know what that's for? That's for folding and putting your laundry away. That's where the time is spent, sunk. So what we will be focusing on in today's video is cutting down the sorting time and most importantly, the folding and putting away time. So first we're gonna sort out our sorting situation and cut that back significantly. And it's so beautifully simple. For your kids, the rule you wanna follow is one laundry basket per kid in your house. So you have three kids, Johnny, Jimmy, Joey, they each get their own basket, and the rule is no mixing between the kids. Like, Joey's basket is just for Joey, not Jimmy. Jimmy, no, you put your, your clothes in your basket. So that's all you have to get your kids to remember. Keep your clothes in your hamper only, and that's it. Now, for the adults, you want to pre-sort, but I've drastically simplified my pre-sorting routine. First hamper is just general laundry. 90% of my clothes just go in here. Tops, sweatshirts, pants, whatever it may be, just all go in this pile. And yes, this does combine lights, darks, and colors. And I'll talk about more in a second why that is. Pile number two is your sport or athletic wear. So any of your clothing that's made with spandex, polyester, and has that you know, athletic slick fabric to it, you do want to wash those separately because these types of fabrics are very prone to pilling and collecting lint. So that's pile number two. And pile number three are sheets and towels. So once we have all of our items pre-sorted, here's what we're gonna do. Every hamper gets its own washing cycle because we wanna keep these sorted so we don't have to then spend the time doing it later. For your kids' clothes and for your general clothes, those go in on a cold cycle or on a warm cycle with a color catcher. I personally wash all of my general clothing on a cold cycle. Washing on a cold cycle is more gentle on your clothes. It's better in terms of electricity usage because you don't have to pay to heat up the water. And three, the biggest benefit, it allows you to do a mixed load. You can do your colors, lights, and darks all together in one load. And if you're at all nervous or you do wanna go for a warm cycle, just throw a color catcher in there and that will collect any loose dyes and you don't have to worry about colors bleeding into each other. Now for your athletic slash sportswear clothing. Throw these all in one load on a cold cycle. And for sheets and towels, I wash those together on a long, hot cycle. The reason for that is that those items tend to be more soiled because they have sweat, dirt, bacteria, you're sleeping on the sheets, so you really wanna give those a deeper, more thorough clean. I have all white towels and white sheets because I throw in a little OxyClean in the wash and it just keeps them nice and white and bright and they're actually easier to clean. Everybody's clothes are already pre-sorted and we're ready to go for phase two and that is right here, the putting away of your clothes. So first we're gonna talk about the adult clothing method and then the kid clothing method. So for me, the way that I break things up is all of my tops I hang up and all of my bottoms I fold. That's just me. I'm gonna share different ways because I know not everyone follows that. So first hack here is how to hang your clothing in a fraction of the time. 
This is where we are sinking a lot of the time hanging up your clothes. So what you want for this are the plastic hangers. I know most people, myself included, had switched over to those felt hangers that are a little bit more grippy. The plastic hanger gives that slip that's gonna allow this to work. Here's our hack for how to hang your tops insanely, insanely fast. This works, I promise you. So take your shirt and put your arm through the neck hole and out the bottom and just start loading up your tops. And this works for t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, any type of top that you have. Just load up your arm until your arm is totally full. I can fit like up to 10 tops on my arm. Then you get your hanger and you hold it in the palm of your hand like so. This works much better with these plastic hangers because they have more of a slip to them. You can use it with your other hanger, it just doesn't glide as easily. So you're gripping the hanger in the palm of your hand and you just slip the top right over and it's effortless, it takes seconds. Grab your next hanger, slip your top right over. One second, next hanger, slip your top right over. Next hanger, and so on. I'm telling you, this is the fastest method of all time for hanging up your tops. It works. This is a game changer. I can hang up all of my tops so incredibly fast. I no longer dread it. It takes like two minutes for all of my top. Okay, because I really want to make sure you get it. I'm going to show one more time in slow motion with just one top. So you go in, out through the bottom on one arm, grab your hanger, hold on to it in the palm of your hand, and you just slip it right over. That's it, could not be easier. And now I'll show you how to use this method with your tank tops. With your tank tops, you wanna to reach your arms through the straps. And then you grab your hanger sideways instead of from the top. So you grab it sideways like this, then you put each strap over the hanger like so. Boom, boom, boom. You can get through them so quickly. I'm telling you guys, try this. It will actually blow your mind by how much faster this is. Now, if you're more of a folding your t-shirt type of person, this is a little trick and it's so brilliant. I taught this to Ryan and he can't get over it. He thinks it's a magic trick. All right, so here is the fastest way to fold a t-shirt. This method is magical and it might look a little complicated at first. I promise you once you do it three times, it's like second nature. So first you wanna lay your t-shirt on a flat surface. Then you need to create some imaginary lines. I have tape on here so we can visually see where those imaginary lines would be. First you wanna create two lines going horizontally down the shirt and two lines going vertically down the shirt like so. This point here where these two lines meet is point A. Point up here at the top is point B. And then this point down here at the bottom is point C. Two lines this way, two lines this way, point A, point B, point C. Now I have to remove this tape in order to demonstrate fully. Point A, point B, point C. With your left hand, pinch point A. With your right hand, pinch point B. Take your right hand over your left hand to point C. And you're holding it like so. Take your left hand and pull it through. Place it down and fold over. And there you have a beautifully folded t-shirt in about three seconds. And let me show you again. I know that might look complicated, but after you do it like three times, it's the easiest thing. So again, point A, point B, over to point C, pull through, down, over. Left hand, right hand, right over left, point C. Yep. Pull through. Down, over. Perfect, look at that. This trick for folding leggings fast, again, blew my mind and I will never, ever go back. You must try this. And if you're anything like me, you have quite the leggings collection, okay? I'm a leggings freak. I love my leggings. So what you do is you take your leggings and you fold over the band, like so. Then you fold them in half lay it on a flat surface, take the bottom of the leggings and fold them in half again. What you do, you roll the leggings up. You take this band and fold it over like so and you get this little cute legging burrito. I mean, 
Is this not amazing? So you can keep all your leggings stored together in a little drawer. They look neat and compact and it's so fast to do. Again, watching this for the first time, you might be like, huh? But once you do it a couple times, it's the fastest, best method. And now I have a whole collection of legging burritos and I'm very happy. So with those tricks right there, that's gonna cut down your time of folding and hanging your clothes significantly. Now where things get really, really exciting is our method for kids clothing. This method was developed by a woman who has 13 children, so you better believe it's been tried and tested, and I've been following it since Carter was born, so I can attest to it. So it's a no-fold system. You don't have to spend precious hours of your life sitting there folding each individual little shorts, t-shirt top, so you have your kids' clothing washed and sorted. So only Carter's clothing are here in this load. So what you do is you have bins for each clothing type, short sleeve tops, long sleeve tops, pants, shorts, and underwear. Label these bins so everyone in the household is aware, and then you just gently toss your clothing of each type into the bins, that's it. The vast majority of kids' clothing are wrinkle resistant, cotton fabrics, and like I said, I've been doing this ever since Carter was born, and I don't have a problem with wrinkly clothes. And again, you don't have to do this, but if you want to, if you want to save yourself a lot of time and energy, try the no fold system. It will really revolutionize your week. You don't have to sit there and fold each little thing and kids have so, so much clothing. I do it now with Capri as well, but I just do it by tour. She doesn't have the bin system. So I have like one bin for her onesies, one for tops, one for pants, and I just kind of gently toss them in. So now I'm gonna end this with a few other little laundry hacks that I've picked up along the way recently. Um, first, if you want your clothes to smell amazing, and I'm not just talking about like, oh, they smell nice when they come out of the wash and then that fades very quickly. No, no, it's next level. This is to the point where a week later, if you're wearing that shirt out, someone will say, oh, you smell nice, what is that? Like, it almost smells like you're wearing a perfume. It is this brand, it's called Tyler's Glamorous Wash. They specialize in these really fancy high-end detergents. And I did a whole like, testing series on my Instagram stories because these are pricey. And I was like, oh no, oh no, 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 no. That's ridiculous. But I learned a little hack, okay? So this 16 ounce is $19.99. So here's the hack to get the most bang for your buck. I take my 16 ounce Diva Scented Glamorous Wash, pour this in here, then the rest I fill up with unscented laundry detergent. Shake it all up to combine it together and you're golden. You still will get that amazing scent, but it's gonna last a lot longer. Now, if you have kids in particular, this stain remover I've been using for quite a while now and it works to get most food clothing stains off of pretty much anything because almost all of Carter's and all of Capri's onesies. I mean, there's just food stains. It's part of having kids, right? So what I do, it's very non-fussy. I just saturate, spray the t-shirt or onesie with it and throw it in your wash as normal and it gets it all out. Another couple things, these are random, but wanted to share. These laundry baskets I've been using, these are great. There's some brilliant design going here. So you have them like this. Then when not in use, it folds down, super compact. It reminds me of my collapsible colander. Now they have collapsible laundry baskets. If you do not have a lint trash can right next to your dryer, you need one. It's a little magnetic lint trash can. It's a bit bigger than what I have currently. And it just sticks right there on the side of the dryer. So you can't even see it. It's super sleek and small and you can take it off when you need to dump it into the trash, but you wanna have something, whether it be this or just a little mini trash can right next to your dryer. Also, I found this really cute slim storage container that fits either in between your washer and dryer or on the side. In our case, it fits on the side where you can have some added storage for your stain removers, for your extra detergents, for your wool balls, just added storage space that will fit in a super compact laundry room. So those are my laundry tips, tricks, hacks to save you a whole bunch of time. I'm telling you, if you've never tried any tricks for my videos in real life, like this is the one to try because it is going to save you so much time. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments if you could rather have somebody do all of your laundry for you or all of your dishes, like wash, put away all of it, what would you pick? Honestly, I would probably pick dishes because now laundry to me is a lot less of a pain. And with all of that said, thank you so much as always for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Oh, hi.
Okay, so I was taking a look at your laundry time chart right here. And yeah, these numbers, they're way off. First off, 75% fold and put away. I don't think so. I did a revised chart here. See, I'm only spending 1% of my time folding and putting stuff away. It just doesn't add up. I'm just extremely efficient at folding and putting away, okay? Like, one percenter. I'm a one percenter. Yes. Okay, well I'll make a new video for the one percenters. Thank you, that's, that's all I wanted. Okay.